Hey, Boots, if you're tuning in, tuning in, it's your girl, Kanaya Diamond. If you don't know, now you know. Okay, as you guys can read by the title, this video will be a morning and night routine. Excuse the music in the back. Um, this video is a little bit all over the place, but I had to get something out for you guys. Um, so yeah, I have a few clips of me going to his doctor's appointment and then, you know, pumping and things like that. Like I said, I apologize if this video is all over the place, but you know, I'm trying to get some content out there for you guys. Um, I also answered a few questions later in this video, so listen out for that. Um... So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this freaking video. Um, it took a lot to record because I had to like record every single step. This was supposed to be a week vlog, but I got super confused and super busy and um, I got sick. So um, I wasn't able to record as much as I wanted to. So I this is just my morning and night routine. Um... So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So, yeah. so today is the morning vlog. So good morning and let's get this started. Okay, so Adrian is currently downstairs with dad. Um, you know, he usually comes in my room in the morning and we kind of start off like that. But uh, we kind of started off late this morning. And, you know, so he's just down there with dad. He hasn't gotten a bath or anything yet. So I will show that on camera. Um, but... A Marion is here and he just got done eating and got his diaper changed and he's about to get his clothes changed because these are clothes from yesterday and last night he was all snuggly and warm <laughs> this is your first time seeing him face I'm so so white but yeah I'm about to get up and get stuff started well, here is Adrian now. Say good morning. Hey, good morning. So, I think I'm going to put Adrian in the bath first. And we'll brush his teeth and get him in the bath. And then I'm going to get Amiri ready. Just because it's easier to do the stuff. Get Amiri ready while Adrian's in the bath. So, good. yeah.
I did not get to finish my I did not get to finish Monday's morning routine um well basically I kind of finished it I show you guys like really what I do in the morning that was it and we ended up getting breakfast but um my mom ended up taking me out for brunch so I did not record that so basically um today's Tuesday and today's supposed to be the night um routine which is still going to be the night routine um I'm just basically like vlogging a little bit today because i'm at the store right now gotta grab a few items i'm just vlogging a little bit just to add more of a monday's vlog not really too much you know but yeah i'm at the store right now with baby with the Miriam, and i just want to bring him out like to just see how it would be because like i really don't remember how it was with adrian so yeah i'm about to go into the store and i'm gonna vlog a little bit in the store and then that basically like that's gonna be end of monday and then y'all gonna see me tonight again <laughs> so i'm sorry if this is all over the place y'all like literally 
it is like sometimes i'll be forgetting to pick up my camera and record which is like bad because like you know trying to be a you know influencer and things like that i have to pick up my phone my camera but like it's been really hard um I'm not going to leave a lot to y'all. I'm going to be very transparent. But I got a lot of questions under my um, last video that I will be answering in this video tonight um, for the night for the night um, vlog or whatever like that. So be, in, be tuned for that um, and make sure you guys are listening out for the questions that you guys ask. So, yeah. So let's go into the store. I'm at Walmart. Listen, I'm a Walmart girly. I know these TikTok influencers, these, you know, YouTube influencers be going to Target, boo, but it ain't that, it ain't that rich for Target, okay? We going to Wally World. So, let's go up in here. Okay, so, look at this cute watch for Adrian. It's Paw Patrol. Look at Amirian. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get that for Adrian because that's so stinking cute. Um, yeah, my camera is huge, but I'm not scared. I used to be, but I'm not anymore. And I'm looking at these Apple Watch bands. They eat. I already have a cheetah print one, so I don't want to get a cheetah print one. This is really cute. This one is really cute. I don't know though. I'm really leaning towards this one. I like this. It's gold. It's basic. It's cute. This one is really cute. Well, it's it's like the same little elastic like this one. I think I want to get this one. I really like this one too, but I'm not about to get that one. How much is this one? Look at this watch, y'all. That's so cute. Oh, this one is really cute. Hold on. This one is really cute. I like this one. Yo, this is where I be getting. If y'all wonder where I get all my cute necklaces from, it's here. Walmart well, be having the tea and necklace. Like, look at this. This is so cute. It's a butterfly. It's too bright. It's so cute. I think I want this. Y'all just be putting stuff in the car. I low key probably not gonna get half of the stuff. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And then these are on clearance. But okay, y'all. I'm about to look at this stuff. And I'm going to get right back with y'all. Okay. I'm trying to use my wig. It's like it won't let me log in. Okay, I'm going to get back with y'all when I get out of the store. Because I, I didn't grab too much. Okay, so Adrian got his watch. <laughs> it light up. Okay, so I am back home. Um, I did up getting that uh, Apple Watch van thingy. It's so cute. I like it. Um, and I did get the necklace. So cute. Okay, but so I want to show you guys. Last night I made my placenta, but like not what y'all think. I made it like this. So I'm going to blend it up and make it into like a powder so I can put it in like capsules, like pill capsules. But right now I'm about to make me something to eat because I am starving. But 
that is the end of Monday's vlog. So tonight I will be doing my night vlog. Okay, y'all. So excuse my voice and stuff like that. I feel like I'm about to cry. It is 4.03. I was going to plan on starting my vlog once Adrian woke up from his nap to do my night routine. Um, but I want to start it here just to let y'all know, like, I have a milk clog. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's so painful. This is the first. I've been breastfeeding for three years. Well, two years. And this is the worst pain I have ever been in. Like... It's literally giving me, like, when it says it gives you flu-like symptoms, like, it literally gives you flu-like symptoms. I feel sick. Like, I'm getting chills. My head hurts. Like, it's very painful. Very painful. I just pumped for 20 minutes. Not that much came out. Uh, well, actually, I pumped, I think, six ounces, but I didn't see a, I didn't see any of it come out. So, I think I'm about to pump again. Cause like, and I feel like it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it hurts so bad. I want to cry. Like that's how bad it hurts. Like for real, for real. Um, I I think it started. So I started breastfeeding my son, you know, in the hospital, and when we came home two days later, I um, my nipple, my right side of my nipple. It was bleeding and like it just felt very uncomfortable every time I put him on my breast. And I looked it up and it told me to take a break from that breast until it was healed because my nipple was literally peeling. Like and breaking. So I took a break for two days and last night, um, but I was still pumping. I was still pumping, but it wasn't just as excessive I was doing the other side. And so i last night it felt like it was healed so i let him use it and it was good but as i went to the store this morning and i came back like you guys see it literally has gotten worse mind you the first day that i started seeing that my nipple was cracking and peeling um it was like when he was breastfeeding it felt like it was pulling from the back like from back here the you know my breast was not being used for quite a while on why the the milk duct y'all i have the chills like hot cold symptoms like and it's going into the back of my head like if y'all if you if any mothers out there that knows exactly what i'm seeing or like knows the feeling of a milk duct that makes you feel have flu like symptoms like literally it is real like for real for real so but I can't even take it out because it hurts so bad. I'm just I'm gonna take more pain medicine, and I'm about to pump, cause I can't take it, y'all. I can't take it. Like it hurts so bad, like so bad. Like so now it's literally like it feels like it's half of my boob. Like I, I'm not even joking with you guys. Like it feels like it's half of my boob, like this big, and it's over here, and it hurts like very bad so like i said i'm about to take some pain medicine and pump again and then i'm gonna get back with y'all once i start feeling just a little bit better okay so it's currently 704 p.m um this is time that i usually get ready to go to bed but like i explained in my last video adrian took a little bit of a um later nap today so we won't be getting ready for bed until around eight o'clock which is usually what happens when he takes a la um a later nap um right now we are eating dinner we eating steak and shake today usually i would cook but with the new baby i've been adjusting and things like that so i don't want to like rush into things but so yeah um, we're eating right now, so like I said, we'll probably get ready for bed around 8, 8.15. Um, Adrian took a bath already before his nap, which I think why he went to sleep, because it felt so good. But, um... Good! Yummy! 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 Adrian won't be in the bath tonight. Um, I think I might give the, um, Amirian a little... You know, 
washing up tonight. Just because, like, earlier he had poop. And it was, like, everywhere. It, like, went up his back. Not necessarily, like, in his diaper. I was changing his diaper, and he pooped, and it, like, slid up under his back. So, um, yeah, he might get, like, a little washing up tonight. I know that I have to get in the shower, um, brush Adrian's teeth, brush my teeth, and, yeah. So... While I'm sitting here, I want to answer the few questions that was asked under my um, last video. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody that watched my last freaking video. Like, I love you guys so much. Like, and everyone that has been newly subscribed, like... I love you guys so much. I'm glad that my energy on my last vlog and just my energy period has drew you guys to subscribe to my channel. Um, like, like honestly, I love you guys so much. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, literally, I was going through comments and watching the views go up by the by the minute, and I'm literally just like, what the heck? Like. Yo, I was crying. Okay, so one question that I got was, could I share a bit about the circumcision process? It's, it's a choice if you want your child to get circumcised or not. It's not really that important. So yeah, it's your choice if you want him to get circumcised before you leave the hospital or not. It's not mandatory. But I know that in the U.S., like, they want kids to get circumcised. It's just a U.S. thing, honestly. Um, I would say do your research on it if you really are like iffy about it and stuff like that but the whole healing process basically when it gets circumcised it's usually going to take a week or two to for it to like heal properly and what they'll tell you to do is some hospitals are different so when my first uh, son they gave him circ they had he had a circumcision and they used gauze and vaseline but with him they didn't use gauze it was just vaseline which they both healed properly he is fully healed. Um, he just turned a week yesterday, which was the 5th of February. So, he is now a week old and his, his you know, it has healed. So, you just want to use, like, a ton of Vaseline, petroleum jelly. Like, you can ask for some at the hospital. Um, they gave me some. This is what they gave me. This is what they gave me. It's like a little tube. It says um, Vaseline Pure Ultra White petroleum gel and so and then you're gonna put it like on okay i can demonstrate <laughs> so basically i i use gloves so i like put the glove on one hand that i'm gonna rub on the diaper in his wee wee with so um i would say use up or just wash your hands really really good before you do it because you don't want it to get infected or like you don't want it to you know swell up and not actually heal properly so basically what you do is put a little bit, well, I, I use a ton of it on the diaper. So I I would use about, I would say more than this. More than this, like way more than this. I would say like at least three of these. Like, and you just put it like on the on the diaper where his wee wee will be at so you just put it like all right here which they'll explain this in the hospital as well so you'll just put it all right here like a lot of it and then you'll put just a little bit on his wee wee like and do like the the circle like don't just put it on the you know the the surface of it make sure it's like all the way around um and then yeah you know and that's really it and if you want to use gauze if they say that you can use gauze you can use gauze because it will bleed but it won't bleed longer than i would say like an hour after the circumcision like it won't bleed after that unless it is infected and it will bleed more than that which uh neither one of my sons had went through any of that they healed properly um another question that i got was um you know things about the umbilical cord and things like that so whatever you decide to do with your umbilical cord um i kept my placenta and the umbilical cord that he that you know that was connected to him so my placenta is already made into like like i showed you guys earlier like little powder stuff that i'm gonna put in pill bottles and then um his umbilical cord is just sitting in the freezer because you know 
it has to freeze well you know to keep it or whatever like that um and they will tell you will have to sign something about keeping your placenta and like because it's really like on it like a placenta is worth thousands like if y'all know y'all know a placenta is worth thousands and you know you saying that you are keeping your placenta they're not going to be like no you can't keep it because for one it's yours like so but um yeah because it's worth thousands so even if you don't keep your placenta all they're going to do with it is you're going to use it for something else labs all that stuff but i decided to keep my i decided to keep my first ones as well but my brain was not in the right space and i ended up leaving at the hospital in the freezer but um i ended up taking my son's home that my a, a marion's home and so basically you have to leave you have to bring a cooler to the hospital so you can be able to leave outside it cannot leave in your hand it cannot leave like you know it has to be in a cooler and you have to have ice in the cooler so um yeah so that's what we had to do and it has to be not buy any food for 42 to 72 hours like no like your free freezer has to be empty like empty by no food because you can't get sick thank you okay so it's 7 59 which is right on time like i said i was gonna give the baby a quick little wash up just because his umbilical cord has not fallen off yet um so i'm gonna do that first and because Adrian, um, okay. we try to put him to bed by, um, be no later than 8.45. So, yeah, let's get this thing started. I just wrap my hair up first before I do anything. My hair usually be wrapped all day, but I was kind of, I went to the store today, so low-key forgot to put it back up. So, like I said, I'm going to give the baby a wash first and then get Adrian prepared, prepared for bed and then my turn.
Alexa, play rain sounds. one more time just because like it needs to get out like I still have that duck in there and uh, it just needs to get out it, it really hurts still hurts um I'm going to take some more pain medicine before I pump um and hopefully I get it out tonight if not then I'm gonna just pump throughout the night just because I I can't take pain no more so as you guys see me cleaning out the bottles and stuff like that. And I clean the bottles and stuff like that upstairs. Because it's closer to my room. And plus like it's just easy for me. You know like so. Um, like I said I was going to contribute Thursdays to my self care days. Like to actually t um, you know to feel like myself again. Because being a mom especially for two years already. I kind of just like focus on being a mom. And I kind of lost the the life of being Kanaya and um you know like being the creative and things like that uh so I want to get back into that and I want to you know get to learn myself more especially because now I am a woman I was a young lady like you know when I first when I had my first child and I was kind of like developing into a woman so now that I'm 21 I have two children um I want to learn more about my woman side and you know the adult me so, yeah. So, Thursdays are my self-care days. And then Friday is, um, I'm going to record us getting ready and going to this appointment. Because uh, that's the second appointment. Yeah. So, love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Friday, um, and we are at a Marion's appointment. Y'all, it's freaking burning up, but I'm running late, so I really gotta run in there. So I'm gonna record once we get in there. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so we made it into his appointment, finally. They're about to come and check his weight and stuff like that and, you know, make sure everything's good. So I'll get back to you guys once I get in the car because I really don't feel like recording. I'm starving. So I'll get back to y'all once we leave. Okay, so we are out of his appointment, y'all. It's hot, like I said. Very freaking hot. And it's 5 o'clock. Well, it's 4 o'clock. We was in there for, for a freaking hour. Ugh. Anyways, I'm ready to go home and get something to eat. I'm really thirsty. But let's get home. So. I got a good 